Hey guys, in this lesson we would understand how to write down vector, parametric and symmetric equations of lines in R3. We have already covered up vector, parametric and Cartesian equations of lines in R2. But in R3 we do not have any Cartesian equation. We only have vector, parametric and the third type is called symmetric equation. Here also to find out vector and parametric equation we need two ways. So one is two points given and one is when a point and direction vector is given. If we are given a point and a direction vector we would be given the point in R3 that means we would be given x, y and z coordinates for it. So let's say if we are given point A with negative 1, 2 and 3 coordinates and we are given the direction vector as 5, 3, 7. We would just use this information to write it down in vector equation form. So R would be equal to R naught plus Tm. The only difference is that instead of just xy, we would have xyz. And here also instead of just ab, we would have abc. So R would be equal to xyz would come from the point. We have negative 1, 2, 3 and abc is 5, 3, 7. And that's how we write on the vector equation. To write down the parametric equation, we just have to separate x, y, and z coordinates. So x is negative 1 plus 5t, y is 2 plus 3t, and z is 3 plus 7t. And this is how we get the vector and parametric equation when we're given a point and the direction vector. Now let's learn how to write down vector and parametric equation when two points are given. Let's say we're given point A that is negative 1, 3, 5 and we're given point B that is negative 3, 3 and 4 and we're supposed to write down vector and parametric equation. So when two points are given we know finding direction vector is a necessity so we would first find that out. So let's say we're making point A as a start point and point B as a stop point. So direction vector is going to be from A to B. Therefore direction vector can be written as AB and how do we find that out is we would just do BX minus AX. So that would give us negative 3 minus negative 1. BY minus AY that is 3 minus 3. BZ minus AZ that is 4 minus 5 and that gives us negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2, 0, negative 1. So we get the direction vector as negative 2, 0, negative 1. To write on the vector equation we'll pick any one of these two points because we took A as the start point and our direction was found from A to B. So we would take R0 as A and that would give us negative 1, 3, 5 as the R0 point plus T direction vector is negative 2, 0 and negative 1. If we want to write down the parametric equation, we'll just separate X, Y and Z coordinates. X is negative 1 minus 2 T, Y is 3 plus 0 T and Z is 5 minus 1 T. So now we know how to write down the vector and the parametric equations. Let's talk about what are symmetric equations. Symmetric equation is an equation that we can get from any parametric equation or any vector equation. So let's pick any one example out of these two. So let's pick this example. We're given this parametric equation. X is equal to negative 1 minus 2t. We'll use the parametric equation to isolate for t. So we have x plus 1 divided by negative 2 and that's equal to t. Then we would use the y part of the parametric equation. So we would write on y is equal to 3 plus 0 t that would give us y minus 3 over 0 that's equal to t then we take the z part and that gives us z is equal to 5 minus 1t when we isolate for t we get z minus 5 divided by negative 1 equal to t we can simplify these t values so we can write it as t equal to we can just divide both or we can multiply both the numerator and denominator with negative sign so you have negative 1 minus 1 over 2 here anything divided by 0 is infinity so we can write on t is equal to infinity and here we can write on minus z plus 5 over 1 is t or we can just say t is equal to 5 minus z and then we just have to put all of these t values equal to each other. So we have negative 1 minus 1 over 2 is equal to infinity is equal to 5 minus z and this is what is called a symmetric form of equation in R3 for a line. So to write on the symmetric form we will just use the vector or parametric form. If you're given the vector form we would write it down in parametric form. If we're given the parametric form we would use we would just use it straight. We'll get the x, y and z part of 
each of the parametric form and then we isolate t then we put the t values equal to each other and that is called the symmetric form of the equation.